I'd like to bring the order, the uh, meeting of the Pittsburgh City Commission to order. <coughs> Join me in the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'll open the meeting with uh, public input. William Strunk, 1515 Hampton. Many citizens cannot understand the eagerness to use tax dollars to help the developer build his roads in Silverback Landing. There needs to be accountability of the city officials so the citizens of Pittsburgh feel they are being responsible for monies to be used properly. In the RHID, it states the developer is to pay for the roads inside his development. This is what the city staff and others worked on over the last year and brought forth the approval of the commissioners last September. It was discovered that many months before East Hill residents knew anything about the Silverback project, the city was working with the developer to build the roads from the south on Centennial called Silverback Way. The city had a, agreed to pay $1.25 million in order to build this road. City Manager Hall has inaccurately given the wrong facts on how all this took place. In the April 9th meeting, there was much discussion on using city uh, sales tax money, EDCA, and general fund money to construct concrete roads in Silverback Landing. The commission was recommended to allow the Director of Finance to find funds in the 2020 budget to help the developer pay for the roads. This is not the correct answer to this situation. This commission should rescind their decision to use any city funds immediately. Absolutely no money should be given to the developer for roads. The commission should stop and think, was this guidance the best for the citizens of Pittsburgh? Thank you. Anyone else like to come before the city? Seeing none, we we'll close public input. We'll open with the consent agenda. Do we have any items? C. Okay. We'll delete item C. We're looking for a motion to approve. So moved. Seconded. It's been moved and seconded. Roll call vote. Chenoweth? Aye. McNally? Aye. McNay? Aye. Munsell? Aye. O'Brien? Aye. Item C, approval of staff request to purchase wastewater collection, cleaning and inspection equipment for the Public Utilities Department in the total amount of $542,989.65 and to enter into a five-year lease purchase agreement with Commerce Bank Clayton Holdings of Pittsburgh, Kansas, based on their low annual payments in the amount of $114,438.43 and authorize the mayor to sign the necessary lease purchase agreement once prepared. Yes, sir. Uh, I plan on voting to approve this map, but would you explain what we're replacing with these two pieces of equipment? You bet. <clears throat> so, we... Um, so the combination of the two different pieces of equipment are a combination flusher truck, uh, which we use with the wastewater collection department, and the camera van, which is what we use to deploy. We literally put the camera inside of the sanitary sewer lines, and we do sewer line inspection with those pieces of work. Um, the flusher truck is 10 years old, and the camera van's um, 15. So um, back during working day, I presented to the commission um, information on both the pieces of equipment that we wanted to purchase. Uh, the combo flusher truck is an uh, existing demo unit uh, that we brought down for working day with the commission um, along with the camera trailer um, to make those viable for you all to, to understand. These, these purchases are made through um, a purchasing alliance through the Houston Galveston Association, kind of like a national contract, um, that, how we allow cost and those, those are bid out through those purchasing alliance. Same, same alliance that we brought the Pierce fire truck through 
um, back in 2013, something like that. Anyways, um, same alliance. So what we did was we were purchasing from one vendor, Elliott Equipment represents, they're in Kansas City. We bought our street sweeper um, from them. We have some other pieces of equipment. They've been a good vendor. They're up in, I think it's actually Grandview. Um, but anyways, Kansas City area. Um, we had demoed some other flusher trucks from Key Equipment, um, or we've looked at a couple through uh, trade shows. Red Equipment had bought some, brought some equipment down, and um, so tonight we're asking. So it was, anyways, other equipment put it together through the Houston Galveston Purchasing Alliance, and uh, we put that combination of money for five hundred forty-two thousand and change. We put that out to bid to the financial institutions because we will pay for this through the wastewater collection operating budget over the next five years to pay for both these pieces of equipment that we use every day. So um, what we're asking tonight is that you approve um, the agreement for financing of the purchase um, to uh, Clayton Holdings, which is Commerce Bank, um, which I believe they hold one or two of our other pieces of equipment on a lease program right now. So, so Thank you, Matt. Catch everyone up to speed. Thank you. If there's no further questions, I move to, re uh, I could move to approve the purchase. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank One you. thing I might mention about this is that we are recycling the uh, existing flusher truck that we have. We're moving it to a different department. So we're We here. are. We do have two, two existing ones. Uh, um, we use them all the time. Um, we will keep the existing truck that's 10 years old as a backup to wastewater. And we, for the foreseeable future, will keep... The one older than that, the old Camelback, which is a much smaller truck, will keep it for stormwater divisions to help clean storm inlets and those type of things. So, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Consider the following. Appointment of Act to Active Transportation Advisory Board. One new member is needed to fill the unexpired term of Lou Ann Collier on the Active <coughs> Transportation Advisory Board, effective June the 12th, 2019 and concluding on December the 31st, 2020. Yes, sir, Cameron. Yeah. Yes, uh, due to uh, a change in uh, work, uh, Lou Ann Collier had to resign from the ATAP board. She uh, was a very committed member, very helpful, and did very well in uh, representing uh, uh, individuals with uh, disabilities. Uh, we uh, went out to ask for candidates to fill this spot. I believe that we've got to two uh, very fine candidates uh, to uh, uh, for your consideration for replacement. I know uh, Mr. Rhodes is here. We'll have him come up. And I don't believe Mr. I'm probably going to butcher this. Heidenrich. Uh, I don't know if he's here or not. But uh, I know normally you like to have the candidates uh, come and address the commission. So okay. Thank if there's no other questions for me. I'll turn it over to Mr. Can Rhodes. Can I Mr. do one? I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Go ahead. So I, I'm assuming that. Um, okay. Living in Pittsburgh is not a requirement. Correct. Okay. It's uh, they do live in the area, and they are looking at trying to represent a, a pretty uh, specific uh, area. Okay. Uh, yes. You're well, I think filling the ranch shoes is a big. I didn't realize that's what I've known her for some time, and. Uh, all I give is experience. I've been in the chair 61 years. I've uh, run businesses. I've run college. I've uh, just uh, been very active. And I've been involved in different groups. I uh, I just I still work with disabled people. And uh, my they think I know something because I've been around so long. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you know. And my goodness. So, uh, have you any questions or anybody? I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Appreciate but, you, uh, We appreciate you applying. Thanks. But, yeah, if you have any questions, I'll go ahead and answer. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Ryan is not here to speak before us, so we'll vote for one person.
Uh, welcome aboard, Mr. Rhodes. Assuming you make a motion and okay. vote accordingly. Okay. Good job. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor to appoint uh, Jim Rhodes uh, to the Active Transportation Advisory Board. Vote aye. 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 Opposed? Congratulations, Mr. Rhodes. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Non agenda reports, requests. Do we have anything? Uh, just a reminder tomorrow we are meeting with Pitt State on our lunch. So I think it's important for the community to know that we meet with them on a regular basis and uh, then you remind me Where talk. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I said something. Uh, block 22 at 11:30. 11:30 11 or 12:30? It's usually 11:30. Okay. It's 11:30. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, and hey, tomorrow, show up when you want. We'll find <laughs> <more. laughs> well, At least 12 to 1, somebody will be there. Uh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's a it's a good way to share ideas and Great. communicate effectively. So. Want to make sure everybody understood that we do that on a regular basis. Okay. That's all. Look it up. That sounds great. We always look forward to meeting with PSU. I have uh, something, Patrick. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to rescind the decision to use economic development funds in the amount of $60,000 in any other city funds for uh, roads, streets, what have you, from asphalt to concrete and silverback landing. I feel the cost of this should be paid by and reimbursed through the uh, RID district by the developer. Do we have a second? Hearing no second dies for lack of a second. Anything else? Do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. I that second. we can second. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow at 11.30.